Hey everyone, with me here is a 2022 Ford Maverick Hybrid, which means it's time for a bed tour and mountain bike tailgate pad load up test. Uh, the Maverick is one of two new compact pickups on the market for 2022, the other being the Hyundai Santa Cruz. If you're interested in seeing a bed tour of the Santa Cruz, along with a mountain bike over the tailgate, load up test. Uh, I have a video on that vehicle as well. The Maverick here is pretty interesting for a number of reasons. This one is a hybrid. Uh, it's a mid-tier trim level and as equipped it comes in at just over $25,000. Of course that is the MSRP uh, here in 2022. Uh, we're looking at supply chain issues and a lot of dealer markup. So um, technically this vehicle costs $25,000, but uh, you're, you're unlikely to find one right now, and if you do, it's likely to come with a hefty dealer markup, which uh, frankly nobody should be paying. Um, anyway though, this truck is pretty interesting. It's built on the same platform as the Ford Escape and the Ford Bronco Sport, uh, so it is a unibody pickup just like the Santa Cruz and the Honda Ridgeline, although the Ridgeline is a mid-sized truck. The Santa Cruz and the Maverick here are compact trucks. Um, the Maverick takes a slightly different approach than the Santa Cruz. Uh, Ford is a truck manufacturer. The F-150 is the best-selling vehicle in the United States and has been for many years, so uh, whereas the Santa Cruz feels kind of like an SUV with a bed, the Maverick here feels more like a pickup that's built on an SUV platform, if that makes sense. Anyway, though, let's do a little tour of the bed, and then I've got actually two mountain bikes here and uh, a mountain bike tailgate pad, which will fit to the tailgate and uh, see how many bikes you could theoretically load in this thing. So here's the truck. Uh, one thing the XLT does not have is any kind of proximity key system, so you've got to use the key. Uh, but the tailgate does lock. I just unlocked it. It is not damped. I'm pretty sure you can buy an aftermarket part that would damp this tailgate uh, for not a lot of money. I know that's possible with other trucks, and I imagine it's possible here. Anyway, though, here we are in the bed. One area where this differs pretty significantly from the Santa Cruz and the Honda Ridgeline, for that matter, is that despite being unibody, the Maverick has a steel bed. So this is this is a steel truck bed. Uh, it feels rugged. It feels utilitarian. It feels like you could throw cinder blocks in here and not really worry about marring any plastic surfaces. Uh, and you'll notice this one's even bedlined. So that's a spray-in bed liner, just like you'd put in an F-150. Uh, so steel, steel, uh, the only plastic bits are right here and here. Uh, on this side, it's a little storage cubby. There's a little imprint there that says 20 pound max. And then over here, we've got a 120 volt three prong AC inverter. So you could plug a little camping refrigerator in back here. You could plug in power tools. You could charge batteries for I don't know, electronics, toys, power tools, drones, things like that. Right next to it, you've got an LED light that actually has its own little button. That's really convenient. Then up here, you've got a cleat. So four cleats in total, one, two, three, four, and then just climb in here. There's this little track system, and you'll find these in a lot of mid-sized trucks. Uh, I think the Santa Cruz had this as well. I know the Toyota Tacoma and Nissan Frontier have it, but Ford's design here is a lot smoother than, uh, than the track system in any of those vehicles. So you pull this, and you just slide it. it slides really smoothly. It's got different channels that it latches into or I should say notches that it latches into, but uh, it's a pretty smooth design. A um, little, bit, little bit easier to operate than in say the Tacoma or the Frontier or I think the Santa Cruz. Anyway, uh, just like on Ford's two other or three other pickups, you've got a Ford emblem at the bulkhead there and uh, tie down points. So one, two, I should say D-rings. And then Ford has Kind of a clever system that they've integrated here. Uh, you could cut a two by four to fit across here to make a little bit of a bed rack system. Same goes with these two depressions right there. So you can kind of kit this out at home, which is something that Ford pushed in its press releases for the Maverick. Uh, the idea here is this is a lower price point pickup and uh, Ford has designed some lower priced DIY at home ways to outfit the bed. Oh, and one other thing I forgot to mention, there are also 12 volt DC plugs on either side of the bed as part of this flex bed system is what Ford has branded it, but kind of tricky to get this out here. Let's 
they don't make it easy to get this little cover off there we go but behind here is just an open 12 volt plug that's uh similarly to how the ac inverter would function you could plug in different accessories into this if you take this little cover off here there you go so whatever you want to do with that i'm sure ford offers a number of different applications for these two plugs at the end of the bed here then if you don't want to use them they're not going to get in the way i think that covers the bed uh, so let's fit my tailgate pad this is a size small the dlx pad uh, the dlx model doesn't really have a back so it's just the pad here and then you strap it around the back of the tailgate uh, something to note here this pad was designed prior to the release of either of these two new compact pickups on the market for 2022. So despite being called a size small, this pad is technically designed for mid-size pickups like the Toyota Tacoma and the Ford Ranger. So I'm interested to see how well it fits the Maverick here. On the Santa Cruz, it was a little bit big. It worked, but uh, it would have been better if it were two or three inches narrower. Uh, again, if you're interested, go check out that video. And uh, yeah, let's see how well it fits on the Maverick here. Uh, I've said this in all of these videos, but this particular pad design is a little bit tricky to attach. Easiest to do the outsides first. Okay, it's the first time this has happened. It works. Barely. Yeah, I think that's about as good as it's gonna get. Okay, so you can see that the pad, despite being a little bit big, it doesn't cover either of the taillights, which is great. Um, sometimes trying to fit an oversized pad to an undersized truck, uh, the pad will cover the taillights, which obviously you, you don't want to happen for safety reasons, but this would work. This would work on the Maverick. Let's see. Okay, so the handle is accessible and it looks like, so one thing that you can do with this pad is if you loop that little hook, through that loop there, you can hold that square open so that as long as you're not hauling five bikes, meaning as long as there's not a bike in the middle here, you can leave access for your backup camera. And there you go, you've got a perfect view out of the backup camera with that little flap in the open position. And then one other thing, you probably saw me when I was installing it, but the tailgate latches with these and this thing. So you can see they clip in there. And if you don't hold those bits in, then that gets in the way and that's gonna mess up your pad and uh, mess up the way your tailgate seats. So uh, this isn't a perfect fit uh, exterior wise. And once the tailgate's closed, it's pretty good, despite not really being sized for the Maverick here. Um, 
but when it comes to closing the tailgate, you will need to manually hold that piece back. And then you kind of need two hands doing it because you got to reach over and get, get that one as well. But once it's closed, you're good. Let's load up some bikes. So I typically only do one bike, but uh, given that one of the questions with these compact trucks is how many bikes can you fit back there? Uh, I thought I'd pull out both bikes today to give us a slightly better idea of how many you might be able to fit in total. Okay, so this is good. I think if you really needed to, you could fit five bikes in the bed of the Maverick over the tailgate like this. So I've put these two bikes as far to the outside as possible. And it's not ideal for a couple of reasons. Uh, one, well, look over here. The tire is coming into contact with the taillight. It's also blocking it a little bit. Uh, the main thing I'd be concerned about is the tire rubbing and uh, kind of maybe scratching the surface of the taillight there. But I mean, that would work. That would be okay. Over here, you're looking at a pedal that's pretty close to the rail there. It's pretty close to the side of the bed, but it fits and you'll have the tire all the way up to, to the side, to the wheel arch there. Let's look over here. Uh, here, we're competing with the derailleur a little bit. So we'll put the tire all the way over. Uh, these are these are oversized tires. Uh, this is her bike. These are 2.8 width tires. Um, but you can see here that yeah, the derailleur is barely touching the wheel arch there. So we've got the tire all the way over. Let's see, the pedal is almost contacting that rail there, but it's actually still able to move freely. And we're pretty much aligned with our hoop there that attaches the down tube to the pad via, uh, via some Velcro there. But unfortunately, I don't have any more bikes, but I'm pretty confident that we could fit three more bikes here. Uh, it would be a little tricky, be a little bit of Tetris, but um, you know, the big headline there is that, yeah, I think you could probably fit five bikes across in the back of a Maverick. Uh, I should mention the same goes for the Santa Cruz, although most uh, trim levels of the Santa Cruz come with a built-in retractable tonneau cover, and that eats up a lot of bed space at the bulkhead here. You can remove it. Uh, it's Sounds like it's a little bit of a pain to remove, but uh, not not really. Uh, you can unbolt it yourself and then uh, two people could lift it out. Uh, but once you do that, I'm pretty confident the Santa Cruz could haul five bikes as well. But uh, I guess the big headline there then is that uh, these compact pickups are pretty sweet for mountain biking. Either one could take as many as five bikes to the trailhead. And well, in the case of the Maverick Hybrid here, you could get 37 MPG combined on your way there. As far as fit goes, given that the bed in the Maverick is a little bit smaller than what you'll find in something like the Ranger, and certainly it's considerably smaller than what you'd get in a Ford F-150, uh, the bikes still fit down in there pretty well. I'm not worried about anything bouncing out. It doesn't feel like they're sitting too high up there. Another thing to mention, the Maverick can haul about 1,450 pounds, so um, you're not going to have to worry if you pack five people in the cab and five bikes in the bed, uh, you're still more than likely gonna be well below the payload limit of this vehicle. Uh, the same can't be said for vehicles like the Toyota Tacoma and Nissan Frontier. Uh, so payload is another area where the Maverick wins. And uh, another thing that makes it pretty great as a mountain bike shuttle vehicle. 
So there's a look at the over the tailgate mountain bike hauling capabilities of the new Ford Maverick here. One thing I think I should mention is that uh, my bike, the green bike, is a size large 2017 Santa Cruz Bronson. The black bike is a size small Scott Genius from around 2018. But I think regardless of the type of bike, I think the big takeaway here is that in a pinch, you could probably still get as many as five bikes over the tailgate of the new Ford Maverick. Thank you for watching.